Previously on The Real Housewives of Abuja. Far from several events in Abuja. So I'm not even friends at all. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the notification button and definitely give this video a thumbs up because we are dropping bangers every Sunday and you cannot miss it. That's my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you. If you are a new subscriber, baby, please subscribe to this family. This is me trying to convince you, okay? First of all, this episode is giving me headache, man. Like, the deja vu from Real Housewives of Lagos is real. Like, real as fuck. This issue with, I'm meeting you for the first time, you meet me for the first we are friends. We are not friends, babes. We are not friends. We need to address this. Don't meet people for the first time and you're friends with them. Because if I ask you, what's my dad's name? You don't know it. So let's stop doing that. So this is a clip that brings the deja vu. Like I'll show you guys the real housewives of Abuja. I'll show you guys the real housewives of Lagos. That like make it make sense. Why do we have the same characters, different reality TV shows at the same time? Crazy. Okay, so this is the clip. Clavy, I only met you once. So if you meet somebody once, you're not gonna say hi to the person the next time. Girl, grow up. So this princess chick, <laughs> like, I have no idea, like, why she is, like, constantly insisting that she knows me. I know Arafa from several events in Abuja. We're not really friends like that. We're not even friends at all, to be honest. But... Like, agree with me that, see, Laura and princess, they are the same people. Like, maybe... They were switched at birth and their mothers don't know about it or like their twins and they were just separated at birth they need to check their dna <laughs> okay so yes um so yes that's that and we can all agree that princess is being dramatic um yeah she's literally a drama queen and that's all about that if you have an issue tell me in the comment section because she's literally a drama queen and I believe that even though drama is necessary in reality TV shows, some dramas are just unnecessary. Do you get? If you don't get it, forget about it. So she also, um, Princess also had issues with Arafa because she didn't get a box. So in this episode, Arafa is throwing a drag queen party where they get to choose to be either saints or devils. But none of them matched the occasion i'll let you see that in a minute too so tell me after watching that did anybody match the occasion like this is only arafa that dressed for the occasion they say drag queen scent or devil you all just dressed like tooth fairies and candies like what in la la land Okay. Everybody's literally shading Samantha's party and they now put the green girls as comfort and Arafa. Like, who started it? Princess. Now you are giving me that princess is a drama queen. You get good. Okay. So Arafa and, and Comfort attacked the green girls and everybody's bashing Samantha's party literally. I think the only person that did not make like a shady comment is OJ Poshuela. Like She's just there to like vibe, you know, she has so much good vibes and stuff like that. Then Arafa goes to the gym with a full face of makeup. Guys, these reality TV shows are making a joke of our mental sense. Because why are you going to the gym with a full face of makeup? You, you, yes, you. If you do it, I ah, need Jesus. She meets Samantha at the, the gym, you get? And then, um... You know, they start having this conversation and Arafa never mentioned to Samantha that there was a party because according to her, she's boring. Yes, Samantha is calm, but we don't need that kind of calm in this reality TV show. We need to see Bass most. She's too calm and it's not for the right show. I really want to see more of Samantha. Like, she's so calm and I believe that she has a lot to offer, but she's so calm. And, like, I feel like she's, I don't know, like, we need to... We need to see how more, like, the real Samantha you get, okay? So, but Oje Poshola invites her. And then Comfort, Arafa, and Princess decide to hook Tutu Pai up with a man. 
and that was just a conversation between princess arafa and comfort but then princess goes with her alabaster mouth yapa 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 and he's telling everybody on the table and then goes ahead to say you know i'm the youngest youngest and then they decide to give it to her let's watch this clip to us older ladies oh, yeah. What is this? Are you in high school? Which one is just a bit older? Eh, uh, okay, grandma, enjoy. I was just saying, like, all my friends are older. There's nothing so bad there. Then, right? I said she looks older than all of us in here. Oh, yeah, this is it. You know what? You know what? You might be the youngest one here, but you look older than all of us here. Now, can you see again that Princess is a drama queen? I think this whole episode is not just about Princess being a drama queen. And I just like the fact that Arafa just sat down there being a boss lady. She didn't even flinch. She didn't give a shit. Like, she didn't even, you know, feed Princess that energy she's looking for. She's just looking at her like, mm, girl, you okay? Mm-hmm. You get And she just did her thing. And then about the drag party, I'm literally going to give the drag party a five. Arafa came with all the energy and all that, but the cast doesn't meet up with the expectation. Like, they could have done better. Like, the outfits were good, but it wasn't according to the team. Like, if you're going to give us a team of a party, dress the parts. Dress the parts. I think, um, what's her name? I said that Comfort was boring. Guys, she is not boring at all. She is savage like legit savage like girl she is literally so savage anyways if you haven't subscribed to my channel you definitely need to subscribe like don't you like my gist anyways bye peace